Yes, guys, this is Yami Blood, and this is our legacy. I'm a broskies. I'm a broskies. So, prayers, 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 and best wishes, guys. I really need your prayers and best wishes. But whether or not you believe in a god or not, just guys, I am happy in just knowing that you boys are praying for me. All right, guys. Thank you for all the support you boys are showing me, man. I really appreciate it. It's kind of upsetting when I see the trollers and the boys that just don't understand, right? But when I see the broskies that do understand, man, my heart literally warms to you boys, all right? So thank you, guys. All right, now, I had put up a post uh, earlier this morning, guys, and it was a poll, right? It was a poll about how long you guys reckon it takes for an F2P player to level up a character from level 1, so upon unlocking a character, all the way up to about level 23, when you get pretty much a good chunk of gems and of course your level up rewards. Now, the majority said 6 hours to a day, so it's safe to assume that a lot of people think that a day pretty much is how long it takes to get a character from level 1 all the way up to 23 as an F2P player. And I just want to let you guys know, I did it in less than four hours, boys. Can you see him there? Mr. Silvio, he's at level 23, guys. All right. I did it in under four hours. And I want to share with you what I did, how I did it, so that you guys can also replicate what I know, right, for free, boys, and do your thing. All right. So if you do like this kind of stuff, right, my advice is do smash the thumbs up, show your support, guys. Leave me a comment, say hello, subscribe, do all of that fancy dancing nonsense, and uh, let's go guys. So, I was at level 1, went up to level 23. Now, this is exactly what I did. First and foremost, guys, you need a auto dual deck, alright? A pretty strong auto dual deck. Now, I would advise you guys to run either red eyes, okay, or blue eyes. In my experience, red eyes and blue eyes have pretty much been the easiest, the best farm decks or auto dual decks. But the thing is, guys, if you don't have these two archetypes, you don't need to have an optimized build, guys. You do not need to have an optimized build. You've seen me on the new account. Literally, I have just the one gear freed. You don't even need gear freed. Literally, what you do need is monster removal, guys. Monster removal. Because the AI just understands how to use monster removal. Most of my NPCs, so non-playable characters, all of them, they have some strong decks, you know. They have some strong decks. And uh, monster removal works without fail. Alright uh, guys, I've actually got like what? Three red eyes fusions, but I'm using just the one. Literally the, the auto dual deck doesn't have to be anything fancy. doesn't have to be anything optimized. Literally, you could just make any decent deck with some strong monsters. So even if you had like all level 4 monsters at 1800, 1900 attack, that would be fine. But just bang in your monster removal. So, step number one, get a strong auto dual deck. Okay, red eyes slash blue eyes is the way forward. I'm sure all of you broskies use other decks too. Drop it in the comments, help each other out. All right, so then I use this uh, deck as the auto dual deck. Then, literally, guys, you choose a flipping NPC, right? Go rewards multiplier by times three. It does not use any keys. The only time it uses keys is if you use the reward multiplier at the gate. So, literally, times three, it uses three respawns. But of course, you get to play just against the one NPC, but get XP or three NPCs. So you play against the one, but you get the rewards for three NPCs. All right. So I'll do all of this nonsense here. Radio guys. Literally, guys, under four hours. I'd say around the three hours. I just had a lot on my plate today, guys. So um, I was actually supposed to upload this way in the afternoon. But unfortunately, just had got, got a bit tied up with the something called life. The nonsense. I'm a brewskies. Stay strong, stay positive, stay sharp, stay focused. So, bamskies, alright? There's your XP. You get a nice chunk of XP, alright? Keep doing that until your respawns finish. Now, guys, remember, we don't have the times 1.5 EXP campaign. So, if you replicate this when the XP campaign is here, it will literally fast track your leveling up process, guys. Like, by a lot. But what you want to do is try and look for the Vagabond, alright? Try and look for the Vagabond, because when you see the Vagabond, then use items. These items do not blow them, do not waste them, alright? Can you see how I've maxed out on each one? Because I stacked them, stacked them. Only use the EXP booster when you see the Vagabond, 
because the Vagabond as it is gives you a good chunk of XP and when you use the XP boost it literally will boost it you see you'll see just now it's gonna push that flip pin level up bar to crazy levels so obviously don't rely on the Vagabond for example I only got to see the Vagabond once <laughs> and I, man your systems fix it up man fix it up fix it up support the F2P community come on come on Konami the FTP lot that Flippin gave you the dang time of day. So respect them. Come on. Alright guys, so let's do all of this nonsense. Don't forget guys, I also was uploading videos, working on videos. Also keeping up to date with my new account, with the grind, with the gem farming, etc. So if I can do it simultaneously, all of these things together, then boy, just know that you can do it too, alright? And I want to see all of you guys succeed. I want to see all of you guys make it, alright? And I'm here for you boys. I'm here for you boys. This is what my life is about right now. Just for you boys, man. So please do show your support, man. If you enjoy my content, even if you don't enjoy it, guys, literally just show your support. How you can show me support? Thumbs up, subscribing, notification bells. If you want to donate, donate. Become a member. Really helpful. Shout out to all my 34 members. Much love, my broskies. Much love, man. The grind, it's tough, boys. It's tough. Trust me. Trust me. I wasn't born a quitter, alright? I learned the hard way everything I know, but yeah, did you see that, guys? You saw that? It was a nice boost, alright? So you keep doing that, keep doing that. When you run out of these dang respawns, bam skis with your orbs. Now, I had about 800, I now have 600. You guys probably don't really use the orbs, so you will have quite a few. Definitely, definitely utilize it, but word of caution, try and stick between 500 orbs, and worst comes to the worst, Go down to about 300 but try to stay around the 500 so if you got like say 900 orbs feel free to go down to about 500 i normally use the 500 figure and all of these years guys literally i've been doing this and i've always had orbs it's so that you don't run out of it because orbs are not easy guys they're not easy to come by so 500 orbs do not go below that remember you can stage up and it will refill your respawns all right, because I'm a content creator and all that jazz, I have to obviously level up characters for deck videos. So if I really have to, I'll go down to 300. But for this one, I used like 200 orbs and good to go, boys. Good to go. Now, let me just show you here. I did not purchase no vagrants. All right, check it. Check it, boys. It's about time you just believed in what I say. Look, I didn't touch no vagrants. This is all pure grinding, boys. Pure nonsense. All right. So yeah, boys. So. This is pretty much how I did it. And uh, yeah, so now it's the flipping headache grind. Trying to get those you send you cards, tenderloni cards. And uh, we take it from there, boys. So yeah, I got zilch. Oh, I got one of these nonsense. I think that was the level up reward. Zero of this, all right? So I'm going to be on the flipping uh, grind for these cards. And then stay tuned for a let's build and or a deck profile with uh, your sent. And my broskies, easy. Peace out, my bros.